Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Dyson released another hair device, and of course, I had to go and purchase it. I have it right here, the Dyson Airstrike. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of this device and whether or not it is worth it. So if you guys are interested in the new Dyson Airstrike, then please continue watching. I purchased the device from Dyson.com in the Persian blue color. This is innovative technology that is supposed to straighten your hair with just air. It uses high pressure airflow to straighten hair as it dries. Unlike a traditional hair straightener, this device has no hot plates, which means minimal heat. Air is precisely heated and projected evenly as you style with no need for heat damage. The device comes well packaged and is surprisingly pretty light. A non-slip heat mat is included, although I felt this was really unnecessary since the device does not get too hot and turns off automatically when placed on a flat surface. Instead, I would have preferred a travel case to protect the device. There is another color available in Knicker Copper, however I prefer this gorgeous Persian Blue shade which is exclusive to Dyson.com. The device has a pretty impressive color screen that guides you through the entire process. When you first turn the device on, it'll prompt you to set up your preferred language. You can choose between English, Spanish, or French. It'll then ask for your preferred heat scale, Celsius, or Fahrenheit. Each time you turn the device on, it goes through a self-cleaning mode. The device then prompts you to choose between wet or dry mode depending if you're straightening you while your hair is wet or dry. This device turns the airflow off automatically when left on a flat surface. Once you hold it, the air strength is low, then as you close the device, the airflow turns up to a high setting. There is a cool airflow button if you'd like to set your hair with a cool shot. You can also choose to straighten with low or high air strength, as well as choose between different heat settings. I just washed my hair and towel dried it, and I am just brushing it. Now my hair is wavy. It is quite thick, and I have a lot of hair, uh, but it is wavy. So I normally do straighten my hair, and right about now I would use my supersonic hair dryer just to kind of dry out my roots, but we are going to do it all with the air straight. I do have bangs, so I'm going to show you how I use the air straight with a round brush to go ahead and style my bangs as well. When you put the air straight down, it does turn off automatically. And then once you start styling your hair, it kind of turns on. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some styling cream. This is by Brio Geo. It's a blow dry perfection and heat protectant cream, but you can use any kind of heat protectant styling cream that you like. Let's take a little bit and then put that through my hair. I usually just put it through the ends. I am starting off with the wet mode at the highest heat setting at 285 degrees Fahrenheit. I prefer my bangs to have some volume rather than be completely straight, so I love that I can use the air straight to achieve my preferred bang style. Since the device is light, I found it easy to hold a brush and use the air straightener simultaneously, just like I would a traditional hair dryer. Once I've curled my bangs, I like to start off by drying the roots slightly before I straighten. All right, so I just clip off half of my hair and we're gonna start drying the bottom half. Oh, 
Okay, again I'm going to dry the roots. Alright, so this is the first pass. Now at the second pass, it's pretty dry. I do normally change it over to dry mode, but I wait to get all of my hair done and then I put through the dry mode. I'm going to turn off the lights behind me just because every time I use the air straight, the lights turn off. So. The nice thing about this tool is you don't really need to pick up perfect strands to straighten. You can straighten just as if you're brushing out your hair in no particular order. The device runs smoothly through the hair without tugging at all. My hair tends to dry quickly, so about two passes in wet mode and one pass through dry mode is enough for me. However, with thicker hair, you might find that you would need about three to four passes. Now keep in mind, the slower you run through your hair, the more straight it'll be. I personally prefer a little bit of volume in my hair, so I tend to run through the strands faster. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to dry mode. And just go through. go just really shiny and straight here I am in love with this tool Again, once I've completed a few passes through wet mode and I feel my hair is dry, I switch to dry mode and go through my hair one more time. I also found the straightener works really well to straighten my bangs, so for those that have short hair, I believe this device will really work well for you. Bottom half is all done, so silky smooth and shiny. Now I can do another pass through with the dry setting just to get that super straight look, but I do like it to be just a little tiny bit bouncy. Um, and if you notice the bottom, you can actually curve it so that you get that nice bounce at the end. This by no means curls your hair at all, but if you do prefer that kind of tucked in type of look at the ends of your hair, you can certainly get that with the air straight. All right, let's go ahead and do the top half. So I do like to brush out the top half. Since I already dried the roots, I can just go ahead and start air straightening. So there's my hair all dried. Now this is just in wet mode. I am going to do another shot with the dry mode. 
just to get that extra shine. Okay, and there is my hair all done. Super shiny, straight, no frizz. It is just the dream device. Depending on your preference and your hair type, you can certainly use a cool shot as well to go through your hair, but I don't feel that that is necessary for my hair. I think that it just looks so perfect. It normally takes me under 10 minutes to just do my hair from start to finish, and this just makes it so simple. Normally, I wash my hair the night before, so I've noticed for the past two days I have been using this, but I've noticed when I wake up in the morning, my hair is still pretty straight and all I need to do is style it if I want to curl it I can go ahead and do that because I normally do straighten my hair before I put curls in so this is just going to make it so much more easier so I don't have to style my hair twice in the morning where I straighten it and then I curl it I just straighten it at nighttime and then if I want to keep it straight it's all good and set and ready to go I um, mean if I want to put some curls I can go ahead and do that in the morning overall I do love this hair tool I think it is so perfect I wish it was available when I was still in school. This would have made it so much easier. I love the fact that you're not using excessive heat on your hair. It does have different heat settings, so you can certainly use the lower heat um, if you feel like it's better for your particular hair, especially if you have thin hair. Oh, I love this royal blue color. Now, this one is only available at Dyson.com, but they do have another color, which is the standard type of Dyson color um, that's available at Sephora and Best Buy, um, but I did opt for the blue one just because I thought it was so chic. I do wish this was wireless, but it most likely would have been very heavy if that was the case. This is particularly very light, so I do appreciate that, and I think that it makes it so much easier to style your hair. But the only thing is that they made this so large. Most likely this is so huge because all of the power really is right in here and this helped make the device itself much lighter so that you can style your hair with ease. Just for comparison I do want to show you the supersonic and the Dyson Airwrap and what the electric cord looks like. As you can see for the Airstrike it is quite large. It is pretty much double in size but I feel like they had to really do that to make the Airstrike just powerful as well as light at the same time. So give or take for having a device that works seamlessly like this, I really don't mind having such a large cord. The one thing that I really dislike is the fact that this device did not come with a bag. I would have thought at least have a pouch like with the Corral, it did include a pouch right when it first was released. With this one, it just comes with the device itself, no bag or anything really to keep it safe. And all of the extra accessories for this you will have to purchase separately and they have been out of stock since release. Um, I do have the notify me tab uh, but when I get the email usually they release a few here and there and they're normally sold out very quickly so I haven't been able to get my hands on any accessories but I definitely do want to get at least a case for this. I do like the stand. There is also a little travel pouch and also a, a box as well uh, which all look really beautiful but I just wish that at least a pouch the travel case came with the device itself 
especially since it is so expensive i don't think that it would have broken the bank to include a travel case with it as well i do love this device i have been really enjoying it it is making my hair care routine so much easier and i definitely highly recommend it i do recommend you wait at least for some sales i know sephora always has a 20 percent discount which most likely will be coming in the fall again so if you are interested in this most likely wait for that for the 20% off then it definitely will be 100% worth it. That is my review of the new Dyson Airstray. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you were interested in this device I hope this made it easier for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.